So I would like to know why did you decide to become an actress at such a young age? Um, I have absolutely no idea. I wish I could tell you, but I just have always enjoyed playing someone other than myself and living in a fantasy world for whatever reason. I don't know why. Is it <laughs> hard to, to find then a Na Naomi again after exploring all these other characters? How does it work? Yeah, I mean, I, I do think that's, that is definitely true and I think that's a problem that a lot, a lot of actors have that you do kind of lose your sense of who you are from playing so many different characters, yeah. What did you like about this adventure? Ah, the sound. The sound, okay. yeah. So okay. I would hate to have you get home and yeah. run into <laughs> So, but you live in London, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, you did Miami Vice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think in two weeks. So we'll start from scratch? Uh, yeah. If you would like to, do you need to? Okay. Uh, Naomi, so tell us, why did you decide to become an actress, considering that you're super young? I, I really don't know. I've asked myself that question a, a lot, actually, and I don't know what it is about. I just love playing somebody other than myself, and I love imagine creating imaginary worlds. I don't know why that is. A, uh, what did you like about this adventure, Pirates of the Caribbean, the sequel? Um, I really loved my character, really, um, and just getting the opportunity to play a larger-than-life character um, and play a really powerful woman and a multifaceted woman in the way that Tia Dalma is, because, you know, there aren't many roles like that out there for actresses, so. In identifying with her, how much are you like? I am not like Tia Dalma at all. I, she is everything that I would like to be, though. I mean, she is so self-confident, so self-assured, so alluring. She has real magnetism and um, incredibly powerful. I'd love to have all that, yeah. Wh which is the, uh, the, uh, the film or, or the job that you cons consider a turning point in your career when everything started for you professionally? 28 days later, absolutely. That was, you know, that opened so many doors for me. Before that, you know, I'd left drama school. I think it was a year before that, and hadn't really worked at all. And uh, and then after 28 days later, an agent from America, Tracy Brennan, came over to the UK to find me, brought me over to the States, and uh, I was kind of welcomed with open arms. And I haven't stopped working since then, so it's been fantastic. So, how satisfied are you with the, with the way your career is going? I know that you're. You're going to be in a, another big movie, mm -hmm. Miami Vice. Can yeah. you talk a little about this one? And yeah, I'm going to be in Miami Vice, and I, in that I do a Bronx accent, and um, I play Trudy, who's an undercover agent, and I'm starring with Jamie Foxx and Colin Farrell. 